All roads led to Upper Thompson Road for the three-day 1966 Grand Prix meeting, which was held over Easter weekend. From early morning, the crowds in their thousands streamed to the circuit, which, by the way, was in superb condition after resurfacing at a cost of some $75,000. Following Saturday's practice, at which the competitors not only learned the circuit, but also struggled to achieve the fastest practice times to sort out their positions on the starting grid, the President of the Republic, Inchi Yusuf Ben Ishak, arrived and was welcomed by the Minister of Social Affairs, Inchi Altman Walk. The President then toured the circuit to declare the meeting open. Meanwhile, in the paddock, where the machines and drivers assemble, last-minute adjustments are made by the mechanics. For many weeks before the meeting, competitors have been hard at work in every spare moment preparing their machinery. The first event on Easter Sunday was that for the smaller capacity motorcycles. Favourite for the event was Morishita on a Bridgestone machine, who had recorded fastest practice time. But it was not to be, for on the last lap, when well in the lead, he was forced out of the race, and the winner's chequered flag was shown to Matsushima on a Yamaha. Always a favourite with the crowds, the event for vintage cars, much care has been lavished on these cars by their proud owners, and even today the more sporting models are still capable of a fine turn of speed. The fastest car in the event, a Lagonda, obtaining a speed of around 100 miles per hour down the straight. The victor's laurels went to David Morton in his Sunbeam. The Saloons and Tours event proved to be the highlight of the day's racing with international drivers Steve Harvey from Australia and Albert Poon from Hong Kong bringing the roaring crowds to their feet time and time again as they battled out the lead, inch by inch, over 15 laps. Behind the two leaders, battle raged right through the field as the competitors fought out the class awards. Coopers, Cortinas, Mazdas, Princes, and even a massive Plymouth Fury set the stage for what proved to be the fastest, most furious saloons and tours event ever held in Singapore. It was a screamer all the way, with Poon crossing the line barely seconds ahead of the gallant Harvey in his tiny car. To Poon, the victor's laurel. To Harvey, the satisfaction of a great race. And for the record book, the fastest lap ever put up by a saloon car. Promptly at 10 a.m. on Sunday morning, the starter's flag fell for the commencement of the Motorcycle Grand Prix. 60 grueling laps, 180 miles. For 10 laps thereafter, raged a battle royal between Suzuki and Yamaha. The stars for Suzuki, Katayama and Ito, and for Yamaha, Hasegawa and Motohashi. The crowds were tense with excitement as the four riders demonstrated their fantastic ability as they fought for the lead. Alas, this could not last. The speed was too high and the incredible pace took its toll. Out went Katayama in a collision with Louis M. Hock of Singapore near the VIP grandstand at Sabawang Circus. Louis was able to continue, but not so Katayama. From then on, Ito dominated the proceedings and won as he pleased. With the factory machines out, second and third place went to top Singapore riders, Lee Wen Sang and Albert Lim. Hot favourite for the last event of the meeting, the Grand Prix for motor cars, was international Australian driver Greg Cusack in his truly beautiful Brabham Ford by far the most powerful car in the race. With a masterful display of driving, he quickly took first position. And by the time he went in to refuel on lap 33, he had built up a lead of well over two minutes. As Cusack rejoined the race, the drama began. 
On a track made greasy by light rain, Poon held a tenuous lead over Lee Hen Sang in second place, with Cusack third. Within a few laps, Cusack was in striking distance of Poon, but the slippery service became his undoing. Cusack spun off, damaging the car, while a dejected Poon drove into the pits to retire with engine bearing failure. Thus, Lee Hen Seng found himself at the head of the field and ran out an easy and highly popular winner of the 1966 Grand Prix for cars. A superb reception at Sri Tomasak brought to a triumphant conclusion this excellent motorsports meeting. The President and the First Lady graced the glittering occasion while Puan nor Aisha gave away the magnificent trophies to winners from far and wide. Today, the Singapore Grand Prix has, without doubt, made its mark as the premier motorsports event in Southeast Asia. The attendance topped a quarter million, a tribute to the hard-working organizers and to the many unsung heroes of one of the finest sports in the world. See you at next year's Singapore Grand Prix.